Nowadays we use digital calculators to add big numbers. But in earlier days mechanical calculators did this job instead. Blaise Pascal built the first mechanical calculator in 1642. Mechanism he built can be understood with the help of this simplified prototype. We will use 3D printed gears with 10 teeth marked with numbers from 0 to 9. With the help of a pin, we can place it on the card sheet. Let us place another gear on the left side of this yellow one. Push pins are placed next to zero digit to mark the starting or reset position. As you know, place value is the value of each digit in a number based on its position. Yellow gear represents unit place, while green one tens place. For a number thirteen, digit one has a place value of ten, while digit three has a place value of three itself. Number thirteen can be represented like this: one, two, three, one. Let us reset the gears to the initial position. Fifty-four, like this. But how can these gears help us in addition? Let us connect these two gears with another one. This gear is also known as an accumulator. It rotates with the yellow gear all the time, but moves the green gear only one digit forward for each complete rotation of the yellow wheel. How about adding two numbers, thirteen and fifteen? Let us rotate yellow gear till digit three is placed next to the pointer. Also rotate green one till digit one is placed next to the pointer. In order to add fifteen, we have to move the yellow wheel five times in a clockwise direction and green wheel once. Get the result of addition: twenty-eight. Let us add another number: forty-five to twenty-eight. I will rotate the yellow gear five times in a clockwise direction, as five is in the unit place. Green wheel needs to be rotated four times, as four is in the tens place. You guessed it right. Seventy-three is the result of adding twenty-eight and forty-five. How about adding sixty-seven and fifty-five? This result will be greater than hundred. That means we need three gears to represent the same. Let us add this white gear. It represents hundreds place. We will also place this gear to connect tens place and hundreds place. This gear will move white gear one digit forward. For one complete rotation of green one, let us rotate yellow gear clockwise till digit seven is at the pointer, and the green one till digit six reaches the pointer. Now to add 55 to this number 
we will move yellow gear 5 teeth and green one 5 teeth as well the result is 122 accumulator moved green gear one teeth forward when yellow gear rotated once same was true with white gear as well how about adding 596 to this number let us move yellow gear 6 teeth green one 9 teeth and white one 5 teeth The result is seven hundred and eighteen. For large numbers, we can add more accumulators and gears on the left side. That was about addition. How about subtraction? Let us reset all the three gears. We will subtract twenty-three from thirty-seven. Let us represent thirty-seven first. To subtract twenty-three, we will move the wheels anti-clockwise. Yellow wheel three teeth anti-clockwise, and green wheel two times anti-clockwise. Our result is fourteen. Let us try bigger number. Seven eighty six minus one thirty nine. As you can guess, our answer is six forty seven. With this arrangement, you can do additions as well as subtractions. These gears were designed in FreeCAD and printed on Ender 3 3D printer. I will create another video for the same. Can you think of alternatives if you don't have a 3D printer to achieve the same arrangement? Give it a try. Thank you.